Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video to show you how to stop under eye creasing from happening when you use concealer. Now I know that so many people out there, most people who don't even use foundation tend to use concealer because concealer is a kind of product which is there to basically, as the name suggests, conceal, to hide, to cover imperfections, to create depth and dimension to the face and whatnot. Now for those of you that are out there like me who get darkness under the eyes, you will of course use concealer. However, there are so many of us out there that struggle with a concealer that stays placed uh, all day and that doesn't crease after a couple of hours. Now creasing just happens because a product is very emollient and also because it hasn't been set as properly as it could have been. Now I have been recently doing this probably for the past few months. This is actually what I didn't use to do before. Now I don't always tend to get creasing because obviously I've been using makeup for long enough and I know how to set it, how my skin works, how the oils in my skin work and so on. So I've been able to kind of do something that works for me. Now I have got normal to combination skin. At the moment I've only got some of my makeup done which is why I look a bit odd, I'll fix it. Previously what I was doing was using my normal concealer and setting it with like a pressed banana powder like this NYX HD finishing one, the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, banana powder as well as various other ones which were pressed. Now the reason why I would still experience some sort of creasing throughout the day is because I wasn't doing this method and using loose powder. Now you're probably thinking, okay, so what's the big difference? They're both yellow powders. They're both powders. They should really do the same thing, right? Wrong. Now, because this is pressed, it's a lot more compact and it kind of just sits along the top of your concealer when you, uh, try to set your concealer shortly after applying it. The difference with a loose powder is because it's loose, it literally goes and fills in all those little lines under the eyes, all the little cracks, sets the concealer and stops it from creasing throughout the day. Ever since I've been doing this technique, I do not even get one crease. And I'm talking up to like 12, 13, 14 hours of wear, which is amazing. With normal, con normal concealers, without doing this technique, I would normally get creasing after about five, six hours, which to me was like, okay, that's normal. How wrong was I? Not realizing that this is another way of doing it, but making sure that there are no creases throughout the day. Now, in all honesty, I am 35 years old. For those, some people may say, whoa, that's old, because I know when I was 19, I thought 30 was old. And there'll be those of you who are around my same uh, age range who've got some fine lines appearing, some haven't. I'm on the haven't side, and that's purely because I'm South Asian, so my skin will obviously age uh, a lot more slowly than people with fairer skin. I don't have any fine lines under my eyes, but what I do have is just normal lines that you get because you've got eyeballs. You've got balls in your eyes which are pushing outwards because your eyeballs are obviously round. They're not like flat against your eye and therefore you will get lines under your eyes. Aging is something very, very different. But this same technique still applies to those people who've got aged, li aging lines under their eyes and not. Now the one thing I do have to say is baking. Now all of you know what baking is. I do not do baking. Baking never works for me. I've never liked it. I tried it once and I just found that it just made my eye, under eye area very crepey, very dry, and it started to almost suffocate my eyes and create lines where there were no lines. Now, for those of you that don't know what baking is, it is applying a loose powder on top of your concealer or wherever you want to place it and leaving it there for a good long while. A lot of women you would have seen on uh, YouTube, they place their loose powder in the areas that they want to bake and then they leave it and they go and finish off the rest of their face. What a loose powder does it, when it works with a liquid is that it kind of soaks it into it. So it takes out the liquid and then keeps it mattified. So if you can imagine you've put a lot of concealer under your eye, a very liquid and emollient product, and then you've applied a load of this and then left it there for ages and ages and ages and ages. Eventually there is nothing for the powder to soak into and then it's just like literally sucking any moisture out of your skin. And that is why you tend to get that very dryness under the eyes, very cakey sort of feeling, very crepey sort of look. One or two people even told me that is what they experienced with this powder when I mentioned it on Snapchat. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, follow me. And um, 
when I tried it and I did it in my way, I was like, okay, this hasn't happened to me. This is actually excellent. I don't really think it matters what powder you use as long as it is, as it is a loose powder. For people who've got yellow undertones, medium skin and dark skin, I would always suggest using a banana shade or a deeper shade. Do not use translucent powders. I cannot stress it enough translucent powders only really work well for people who are really really fair if you have follow me on instagram follow me if you don't and have seen any of the photos that i've had taken which requires a flash you will not see a single single photo of me which has got that white cast under the eye which i see with so many people how come it doesn't happen to charlena I will place a bet right now that none of you can find a photo of me with that wide cast under the eye because I use firstly a yellow powder and even if I have used a translucent powder I've only left it under my eyes for literally 10 to 20 seconds not to 10 to 20 minutes so if you follow my tips and techniques hopefully you will be able to find the right way for you to not get any creasing underneath your eyes so what we're going to use today is I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and my shade is in medium and then we are also going to use the Makeup Revolution Luxury Powder in the shade Banana. And then you just need any kind of brush. This I could only find this is my dirty brush. It's the Makeup Revolution Contour Brush. And that is literally all you need. If you want to use the Ben Nye Banana Powder, that's another good one to use as well. For those of you that don't mind using translucent powder and just want to ignore everything I have to say, which is fine. You can use the RCMA No Color Powder. You can use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. You can use the Airspun Coty Powder as well. Those are just a few that I would recommend using, which is fine. But like I said, as long as you stick to my technique, even if you are using a very, very pale translucent white powder, you will still not get that flashback and you will still get the same effect you would as if you had used this one. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to apply the concealer under my eyes. I'm not going to go in too heavily. I just go in with the normal amount that I tend to apply. Obviously, the more concealer you apply under your eyes, definitely what is going to happen is the more creasing is likely to happen, which is why I would always recommend going in with a full coverage concealer because that way you don't really need to use that much at all. Nice thick wallop of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So now I'm just going to use a damp beauty blender and another thing is that when you have got a damp beauty blender as well some of the product does soak into this so don't worry if you have got a little bit too much concealer on that's why it's always better to use a beauty blender under the eyes rather than a brush. Now a nice generous amount of the powder there is nothing wrong with going in lo with loads of powder it's just how long you tend to leave it there so as you can see I am going in heavy and yes it's gone all over my clothes and everywhere else but normally obviously I would have already not done parts of my makeups just because of the video so look at this 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and now we will just wipe it off And straight away, you should have lovely, smooth under eye area. That feels nice and soft. And because you hadn't left it on for too long, you will ne not get that too much bright flash. I know it looks a bit strange right now, but obviously I've only done some of my makeup. I need to fix up the rest and correct the areas where I've not got, now got powder on. It's ruined my nose contour as well. Um... But yeah, so this is how it should look. It should feel nice and soft and smooth. So what has happened is that the liquidness of the concealer has worked with the powder and it has filled in and set in any lines underneath my eyes and it will stay like that now until I remove my makeup completely. So let me just now finish off the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I finished off the rest of my makeup, uh, straightened my hair, done my highlighting, contouring, blush. On my lips, I'm wearing Lime Crime Plushies lipstick in the shade Blackberry. It looks lovely and a little bit sticky, but that's yeah, fine. Anyway, under my eyes, still looks perfectly fine. Even after I finished doing all of this, I went off, I was playing with my niece. Um, and yeah, so everything is still in the place and it feels nice and soft and smooth. I cannot see any settling within the creases um, under my eyes. 
I can see the lines but then that's just normal eyeball lines like I said but the difference is you don't want the concealer to settle within them which is what I can't see if I was to stretch my eye there would be nothing there and that's how you want it to be and this is how it will remain for the end until the end of the day until I remove my makeup so all you have to do is just remember those few little tips so I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video I hope you guys found it useful as well like comment subscribe and let me know what your thoughts are and let me know if you've tried this technique and how it's worked out for you other than that I hope you guys are wonderful and I'll see you all in the next video bye